Um, Mike Wilbont. No, wait. But, <laughs> no, that's me. He went to Northwestern. <laughs> I'm Tony Kornheiser. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm Brent Leary. I'm Paul Greenberg. Excuse the intrusion, but it's time for a CRM play as sports. Yeah, and it's funny because the word play is, given what I, when I was a kid, I wanted it to be, and given what we're using it as, are literally not the same thing. Yeah, there's definitely some differences, well, different connotations. Yeah. I, we say CRM play as that doesn't mean I get to be Mickey Mantle. Well, I definitely don't get to be Eric Dickerson. Someone was calling me the Mickey Mantle of CRM, though, which is kind of the best one I ever got. Wasn't that me? Didn't I throw that in there at one point? I mean, I, I started I giving you a whole bunch in there. there. As far as I know, you threw all of them in there. <laughs> I, I, there were some some really interesting ones I threw out there a while back. I, I can't seem to remember them. Well, there, was, there was the the Godfather one, of course. And then there was the Walt Whitman was one. <laughs> and then right. there was the Bob Dylan, which was pretty damn good. And then there was the Mickey Mantle. And there was another one more recently. There was another one, too. Yeah, like, there was. A really funny one, too. I don't remember, though. It'll uh, come back to me. Okay, if you remember, say it, because I honestly... <laughs> I probably deliberately blocked that one out, <laughs> whatever it is. Maybe, but I... So this is, of course, we're doing sports today, and, and well, it's not from a sports team, but once again, we, we have somebody who can talk about the combination of sports and engagement and all that kind of stuff with Scott McIntosh, right? Yeah. And Scott, you know, runs the um, sports practice for SAP, but he's also the thing that makes him a little different than most of these guys is he comes from sports and he's come over to the SAP side. So we can talk to him about his life in sports too. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now this is kind of funny. All right. So, uh, <laughs> He didn't leave it as a comment. He he, he sent this as a, a direct message, and the he I'm referring to is Bob Fagel. So Bob is watching us right now from Boston, mm-hmm. of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so then the comment doesn't mean anything. <laughs> well, it's funny. It's not even a comment. It's a direct message. Now, uh, like last week, I think it was last week or maybe a week and a half ago. I mean, Bob, he he did me a favor he actually sent me a background image that i could use and it was a rams background image and so his direct message is you're not using the rams background i sent you <laughs> well well bob here it is man i i definitely appreciate it but it came from boston still I, there's a, a bit of a taint I no I, you know what i think <laughs> it's probably in the background malware yeah there's probably something that would take over and you know, all of a sudden a big bill belichick head would come out exactly and, and then know. it would be like we'd be zoom bombed by belichick hey i gotta tell you something that's really interesting so i'm actually watching on uh facebook just to see if it was up there okay facebook it, it's showing it's it's in it's it's actually we're you know we're doing our live thing Facebook is doing real time transcribing of our conversation right now. What? I am not. It's not all that great, but it's it's doing it. I'm looking at it right now. That's amazing. I, you know, I thought for I saw that earlier. I thought it was on you know something that somebody had done because uh, I was I did the Pega thing, and that was live on LinkedIn Live and Facebook, and I thought maybe Pega had done something you know, for that, the transcribe. But now I'm looking at this. Maybe they just turned on transcription uh, just out of the blue or something. I'm looking at it right now and it is, it, it's not the greatest, but it's not terrible either. Wow. Well, you know, might, might save us some time later. We'll see when it gets better. <laughs> yeah. It's got to get better there. Yeah. I, I, you know, we'll, we'll see. But before we bring on uh, our guest for the day, I wanted to ask a question. All right. <clears throat> now, I have a couple of these, but I, I, I want to know, what is your all-time favorite sports-themed movie? I have a couple of guesses. You want me to guess before I you tell me? One you're going to guess easily, pretty much. All right. Here we go. I, I actually have visual aids for this, by the way. All right, so here's the first. Here's my first guess. 
Let's see if I get this right. That's one of the two. <laughs> That's one of the two. Okay. The other uh, one I'm mean, easier. Okay. See, I didn't put the well, I'll, I'm gonna show you the one I this is kind of a gag guess. Okay. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one down you first. Show me the Babe Ruth story with William Bendix. So <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst sports movie ever made. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, so uh, one of the worst um, movies ever made, uh, but it's a Yankees movie. I mean, that's, uh, well, doesn't that account for something? No, not when you see this. <laughs> if if you ever watch William Ben is trying to be Babe Ruth, the Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth story. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew <laughs> that. that is literally the worst movie ever. Sports movie Wait ever. a minute. Wait a minute. What about? At, at the 1932 World Series, that's just how Babe Ruth. <laughs> this is so bad. And I used to watch Life of Riley when I was a kid, which he started, and I liked it. Oh, I thought that you are talking about Pat Riley. Or no, no. Right. William Bendix <laughs> actually starred in a show called Life of Riley. And I used to watch it. And it was like this working class guy, you know, and it was just like a pretty bad show, actually, probably in retrospect. But I used to really like it. This it's like I watched it when I was a kid, and I remember thinking, "My God, this is horrible!" And there was nothing about the Yankees that could possibly be horrible. And and this managed to achieve that, right? Even then, oh my God, it's so awful, right? I see. I how do you like that? I figured out what you were going to do. Right. <laughs> All right. So, what is your real favorite, or it's one of your other? Sort of the obvious one because it's most baby boomer favorite. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. I I absolutely know what it is. All right. Go ahead. If they build it, they will come. You got it. Feel the dreams. Absolutely. It Love it. Now, funny, on Reddit the other day, not more than four or five days ago, I was looking at a stream, and, uh, and oh, it's about that, right? It was about feel the dreams. Do you like it? And there was one on Facebook separately. And if I take the consensus of both, it's really 50-50 among sports fans well, ba baseball fans, that that's their favorite baseball movie. 50-50. I thought it would be like, and, you know, a lot of the people on those, not on Reddit so much, but on the Facebook groups are my age, you know, or a little younger. And you'd think it would be like 90-10 or 98-2, but it's really 50-50. <laughs> and although I will say, prior to the Yankees, when it was mentioned, no one, no one said it was a bad movie. Everyone loved it. Oh. Of course. Every, I mean, that, Gary Cooper. I mean, you know, playing Lou Gehrig. I know. It was sort of the perfect combo. That was one of the great... That was just a great movie, period. I mean, much now, a sports movie. How about yours? I'll tell you, well, I'll tell you my favorite baseball All movie. Right. The Natural. I love The Natural. Yeah, that's another great. That's my Roy favorite. Hobbs. Yep. That I was, mean, come on, man. The way he hit the ball and he could... You could see the covering coming off the ball. I mean, that was hearing the lights, right? I, it's like, I, well, that movie, so MLB, because they have no nothing to show right now, it's showing the natural field of dream. It's showing all the, the sandlot. Oh, another, you know what my great funny baseball movie was of all time? Uh, Major Leagues? You got it, man. Not two, one. No, just the first one. The first one was fantastic, actually. So they yeah. show all of them over and over and over again, right? So you want to watch any of those movies? Just go to the channel and wait, and it will be on. I promise. Man, yeah. wild thing. Uh, that Charlie Sheen's that was the awesome. best performance ever in anything he ever did. He was incredible. Every but everyone in that movie was great. Yeah, everybody. Which one was was Tim Robbins in that one? Was he? No, the no he was in Bull Durham. That's what I, yeah, the other, I, I mean, how many Kevin Costner baseball movies is there? Well, I mean, his best movies were baseball movies, right? It and was Field of Dreams, it was Bull Dorm. What was the other one? The Love of the perfect, Game or something like that? Love of the Game, exactly. And he pitched yeah. it was a perfect game and, and as he's about to retire. What's right. great about that? Uh, none of those were set in Boston. Sorry, Bob, uh, got to get that in there. <laughs> oh, I think the perfect game, I mean, the Love of the Game, I think, I, I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Perfect game against the Yankees. Right, so might have been. Oh, yeah. but well, that one doesn't count as much. No, <laughs> one, but I don't even remember. That was like the throw-in of the that of the, of the trilogy. That was by far number three. Yeah, Bull Durham was the first, and then Field of Dreams was the yeah. Lead. 
just the ultimate baseball movie. And then, but Bull Durham's a good movie, and Tim Robbins, Susan Sarandon are all in that. Yeah, they oh, were. That was a good that one. Was great. Yeah. I mean, there are some really, really good baseball movies out there. The Sandlot is okay. The other one, um, A League of Their Own, is a really good movie. Tom. Hanks. Oh, I love. Yeah, A League uh, of Their Own was really good. I'm not kidding, Gina. Davis, Gina Davis, yeah, Madonna, crying in baseball. Madonna was in that, yeah, and she did. Uh, Madonna did a good job in that movie. Yeah, I mean, she was. It was. It was just a really good movie. Yeah, but yeah. none of those are my favorite. No, well, but keep in mind, it did come I, with the classic of classic lines from "There's No Crying in Baseball." You got it. Yes, you can't. That's probably the best baseball movie line ever, yeah, ever, <laughs> ever. And people but, use it for everything too. But uh, my favorite is from a different sport, and there's a bit of a reason behind it. Okay. So, so I'll, I won't even guess. You just talk about because the, the reason will throw me. Oh, that's a great movie! My God, I haven't thought about that for a year. Warren Beatty. Holy but God. there's a reason, of course, why this is one of my favorites, if not my favorite, maybe outside of some of the boxing movies. Okay. Um, of course, Warren Beatty uh, actually is playing this guy who was the quarterback for the Los Angeles Rams, and he got into some kind of weird accident. Well, he's actually got killed. <laughs> if you want to think about his, his his wife and her boyfriend, which was supposed to be his friend, pretty much set him up to die. Actually, he was a a rich dude. All right, here's a he was a rich dude uh, who was set up and killed by his wife and her boyfriend, which is also his friend. <clears throat> and somehow after he died, he went to some kind of like weighing, st <laughs> weighing station yeah. to go to heaven. Went to the green and, room. <laughs> yeah, the green room. He went to the green room. And in, and while he was in the green room, he had a conversation with the head of the green room. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this dude, uh, but he, he, he was given another chance to live and he, and, he was given the chance to live in the body of this athlete uh, who just so happened to be a Los Angeles Rams quarterback. So he, he went on to, you know, actually become the quarterback of the team. I'm getting this all wrong because it seems like he was a quarterback. Right. He went into a rich guy's uh, right. uh, body. That's right. And he he bought the team so he could play quarterback. This this movie was like 1977. I was I was like 10 or something. I'm gonna watch uh, it now. Yeah. So he bought the team so he could play quarterback, and he ended up earning the right to play quarterback. But then, because this was like a temporary situation, uh, they they found him a permanent uh, a permanent body to live in. And so he had he had done all these great things in in this the the rental body, and he including Julie Christie became his like girlfriend. She was like a reporter, and she knew something was wrong, but she couldn't take fake. She couldn't, you know, who could really figure this one out? So before he switched back into the permanent body that he was given, he told her because she said, "There's something about your eyes." I don't I don't know what how to explain it, but there's something about your eyes I, I, I just trust. So he said, you're going to see a change in me. But if you ever come across somebody uh, who may look familiar to you, look them, look them in the eyes real closely. And so the story, you know, it ended on he went into this other body, you know, the quarterback came back. And somewhere along the line, she, uh, the reporter, I think she was a reporter, Julie Christie, uh, you know, she saw this guy leaving the facilities and, you know, he didn't remember her at all, but she saw something in his eyes and she was like, remember what he said? You could see it playing in her, in her, in her memory. And she was like, do you mind if we go get a cup of coffee to talk more about it? And, and he's, he looked at her puzzling like, yeah, I think I'd like that. And that's kind of how it ended. Yep. More or less. That's moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. As, well, I'll tell you this. If you haven't seen it or if you have and not seen it for a while, it's worth watching. I'm going to actually do that now. 
I had totally forgotten about this movie. The other movie, by the way, which is very good, is the adaption of the Broadway play in the movies, Damn Yankees, which has Ray Walston and Gwen Verdon, which is a great musical movie. Even though the Yankees are the villain in the movie, it's true. And Ab Hunter is the star. It's actually a terrific musical movie and is worth watching. I it's thought you're for a minute there you're gonna say and and Ray Wong was in the movie. I was like, yeah, wow, really? Wong. <laughs> right. <laughs> he was only a baby. Actually, yeah. I don't even know if he was born when that movie came out. So uh, the, and it has one of the great musical sports musical songs ever, which is You Gotta Have Heart. Uh yeah, that's a good one. Okay, good so, one. Uh, all right. Well, hey, look, uh it looks like Scott is trying to connect, but I can't see I'm backing up. Let me know if I need uh, to. Yeah, so right now we can't even bring you in, Scott, because, uh, well, it doesn't look. It's saying that the guest needs to connect their mic and, and uh, webcam before you can add them. So sounds like there's some Wi-Fi issues going on there. Okay, I'm, I'm letting them know. All right. So uh, my other favorite sports movies – Raging Bull. Yeah. The first Rocky. Yeah. I like Creed. I, I really like Creed. That, that's probably one of the best later sport movies I've seen in a while. The Longest Yard, the original Longest Yard yeah. with Burt Reynolds, not with uh, what's his face? Uh, what's the guy's name? Can't uh, remember the guy. He, he did all those like Billy Madison and uh, Adam Taylor. Uh, yeah, Adam Sandler. Yeah, no, Adam Sandler, Chris Rock version. No thanks. No, that was horrible. <laughs> that was just not good. Uh, oh, um, Kevin Costner had that movie. It was a golf movie. Tin he, Tin Cup. Tin Cup. That was actually pretty good. I can't say it was the greatest movie ever. It wasn't, but it was. It actually that was, was pretty a good. Good movie. That That's was pretty good. good. He's shown in sports movies. Actually, even way later. Sort of sports movie. Well, it wasn't sort of. It was a sports movie, but different angle. Draft Day. That was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I think that was pretty good. But it was worth watching. It's like you watch. It's one of those movies you'd watch once, not twice. Right. Yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, on any given Sunday was pretty decent. Yeah. Al Pacino in that one. I had the party. Right. Bad News Bears was actually fun. Oh yeah, I I grew up with that. Yeah, well, I, I was a little too old at that point, but I wouldn't say grew up, but uh, it was like 25. I couldn't, I, I didn't get how his name could be Buttermaker. That always <laughs> threw me off. Still don't, <laughs> still don't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Bob, remember the Titans? That's actually a good one. Yeah. Oh, that was a great one. Denzel, man. That was, yeah, uh, that was one of the better ones. That was, that's up there. That's that really is up there. Yeah. That, oh, you know what else? I'm not a, a huge hockey fan, but Slapshot was yeah, great. And Slapshot, you're right. Another one. I mean, it's funny because there are a, a tremendous there was some there was some sort of mediocre but worth watching movies too. Like um So I got one of those right away. Okay. My favorite basketball player of all time is Dr. J. And in the late 70s. He starred as Moses Guthrie in The Fish That Saved Pittsburgh. Yeah, I didn't that see was, that one. <laughs> there's a reason why you didn't see that one. Uh, I mean, you had to be a, a, a huge Dr. J fan to, to sit through it, but it was like, you know. It was, it was well, I, I, it was I didn't even, I didn't even heard of that one. I remember A Fish Named Wanda, which had Jamie. <laughs> a Fish Called Wanda. Wasn't fish it? Called Wanda, right? That which was a sort of Monty Python-ish like movie, too. Do you, do you consider uh, <clears throat> what's that uh, Michael Jordan something jam? Oh, Space Jam. Space Jam. Do you yeah. consider that? Uh, it's a sports movie. It is. I mean, it's you know, cartoon basketball, but it's it is, and it wasn't bad. I mean, it was it was kind of fun to watch. You know, it's like again, it's one of those watch once, never again. Another one, which was that, was more <laughs> like bad, but. I don't want to say it was quite the level of watching a train wreck, but it was kind of there. It was uh, that movie with Ronald Reagan starring as Grover Cleveland Alexander. I can't. Oh, yeah. I just saw that. 
<laughs> really? I remember I just I literally watched that like last week and it was bad. Yeah, that's the that's the idea, but you but you watched it, right? That's the thing. I did, I, I did watch it. You can't help it. It's like that's the kind of movie. I, and of course I watched you know re, you know win one for the Gipper. I watched the George Gip one. Yeah, that's another one. Um no, oh uh, hold hold I have to respond to Scott. Yeah, it's still not it's not letting them connect because it says he doesn't have a webcam. He doesn't. It it oh, the message I'm getting is your guests will need to connect their mid their mic and webcam before you can add them. Yeah, he says he does. Okay, he's just we're, we're having we he just won't let him. All right, well I'll tell him we'll just try for another episode. Yeah, that's a shame because I actually was going to ask him about the this uh, this SAP Sports One thing here. That looks kind of interesting. We can talk about it. Yeah, right. it's just a shame that we can't get him on to talk about it. Yeah, maybe that's him there. <laughs> it's calling. <laughs> no, it's uh, New Era. I assume the uh, oh wow, the New Era. Out. Yeah. No, he says he can call in if we want. I'm not gonna tell him no. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, we, you know, we'll save it for another time. Let me do this. I got it. All right, we're good. All right, so I guess what you have gone through all the the really good movies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, there's probably others we're just not thinking of. Like, there's got to be more football movies out there. Is there anybody in out there who is checking this out? What's your favorite sports movie? You know, we'll actually bring you in. That's right. Tell us what it is. For opportunity, man. We have a slot. Yeah. I'm in now. Real time. Who wants to do it? Super fan? It'll be a, it will be our luck if it's Bob because then we'll have to hear all this boss and stuff. No, no, we won't put him on. <laughs> <laughs> How about super fan though? Super fan. Who's that's super Alan? Fan? Alan said he was. Super oh, fan. right. That's Alan, right. Superman, super fan. Oh wait a minute. We let's see. We got some comments here. Let's see if anybody. Sven want to come on? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Esteban's comment. I'm trying to pull it up, but I can't. I, I got it on my watch. It says I'm available to talk sports. Just let me know. Oh God. That means we'll be talking curling. Uh, Bob Bob also said Miracle, you know, about the 1980 uh yeah, no, that, that was a very good movie. That was a very good movie. Yes, I, I want to know Esteban's favorite sports movie all of right, all time. All right, bring him in. Bob see, well, shot after Esteban. We'll bring people on for like five minute segments. Okay, let me uh, uh Bob, you're coming in. You want to come in? I gotta send uh Bob. I'll send Bob the link here. I'll tell Esteban we'll have him on shortly. Yeah. All right, Bob. The link is it, the link is in your court. Is there any like uh Celtics movie? I can't think of any. No, it's probably something called the Bill Russell story. I don't doubt that. Oh now, now that I would love. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but I'll tell you, do you remember the Jackie Robinson story where he yeah. actually acted in his own movie? That was just that was on on that you know Jackie Robinson day the other day. Esteban uh, here wrote it. Esteban just wrote bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord, what have we done? All right. Uh you know, well, I sent it to Bob. Well, Bob, you got a couple of minutes. You got a minute to get in here, or we're going to Esteban Kolsky. I'm not sure where he. I'm actually getting his a notification, so I'm not. Oh, okay, I got it. I, I got it set up so we can do that. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not seeing Bob. Bob going once. Bob going Ooh. twice. Leave it to a Boston Patriots. A Boston New England Patriots. Bob, Patriots. you have it. Yeah, this is your big shot. This is uh this is bad, Bob. This is your way into Hollywood, man. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go to Mr. Esteban Kolsky. Right, Do you right. have uh I have a, yeah, I'll, I'll get it to him. All right. Yeah. Bob, Bob, Bob. Why am I not surprised that you didn't come through? Okay, well, Esteban, where are you? <laughs> Yeah, that's good. That's called, you know, here what it says. It goes, calls from name unavailable. 
<laughs> okay. Maybe what? that's Bob. No, definitely not. <laughs> Where is Esteban here? All right, he, I lost him. Hold on. Uh oh, I think I hear something from Bob on LinkedIn. Oh, he's on another call, so he can't do it. All right, too bad, Bob. Uh, that's one of those fake things. All right. Yeah. Hold on, let me see if I can give us the button to blink. All right, we're getting ready, folks. I can't even imagine what Esteban's favorite sports movie is. So this this is going to be quite enlightening. Yeah, it'll take me a minute to get it set up, but it will be set up. All right. Okay, let me do this. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I gotta go. Oh, let's see. Somebody commented. Let's see. There's somebody else out there. Well, he'll come on after rest of mine. Whoever it is. <laughs> is does, do, are there any movies on curling? <laughs> None that I I mean <laughs> the answer is I don't doubt there are, but <laughs> not exactly something I would know. Uh hold on. Okay, now take it to Esteban. Esteban, be ready. It's coming in. Uh, here we go. I'm surprised. Alan must be busy because this would he'd be all over this one. All right, Esteban, you got the link. Come on in. Let's see. Oh, Esteban is like tweeting up the storm here. Well, not tweeting, but <laughs> yeah, we already said longest yard and remember the Titans. Yes. Who's asking? No, that, Esteban had t put those in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, the blind side. I didn't really like the blind side that much. It was all right. It was yeah, again, yeah. you watch it, you not watch it twice. <laughs> exactly. I, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, waiting I'm trying for to it. guess. I'm trying to guess what is what could he possibly say? It could be uh it could be Evita. <laughs> <laughs> Argentinian sports movie, Avita. Argentinian politics of sports there. It's got to be a good uh, soccer. Peronista uh, politics of sports in in uh, Argentina. <laughs> it's got to be a good soccer movie that he'll come up with or something. Come on, man. He's he's, he's busy on uh, Wikipedia. Yeah, or, uh, movie, sports movie. <laughs> Name is up. Here he is. Here he there is. You are. There he is, folks. That your sports. Hey, your... I can't do it. And that's your sports <laughs> t-shirt. Is that your sports t-shirt? You like rabbit hunting? <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't. I didn't get to. Uh... There he is. Wait a minute, oh. dude. You're... Cut you, oh, yeah. you, you got to cut that off. Yeah, we can hear ourselves talking. There you yeah, you go. Can like, you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, but we also hear us. We can hear ours too, man. You, you got that page open. Close that page. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. There you go. That's there perfect. it is. Sorry about that. All right, man. What are your favorite? And Asterix. Uh, my favorite one, actually, my favorite movie of all time, there's two. One is Any Given Sunday with Al Pacino and Jamie Foxx. And uh, wasn't uh, Cameron Diaz on that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was, was my favorite. Friend of the owner, I think. Yeah, that's why it's my favorite, because Cameron Diaz was there. So, this is back <laughs> in the day when anything Cameron Diaz was, that, that's me, you know. And then <laughs> there was a really crazy uh, football fan movie. I think it was Jamie Foxx or, uh, like, no, there was some, some. Wesley Snipes, the fan. with that's Robert the one. Yeah. Dude. That was that was, yeah. that, that was a psycho movie. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Robert De Niro was nuts. He was yeah. a, a crazy fan. Yeah. That. So you know, to to answer your uh, your 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 question, my friend, of there's any movies with curling? Uh, <laughs> there's, a, <laughs> there's a there's a movie called Men with Brooms, <laughs> <laughs> which actually features <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. Really? Oh, really? Are you yeah. serious? Oh, yeah. you know what? I guess we're then, watching it. Men there's a movie. There's a movie uh, called Curling, which is a French Canadian movie. 
Yeah, well, I'll be. Watching. Are you sure it's not called Curly and it's about the dude from the Three Stooges? Right. Yeah. No, there's a guy. There's a guy. Uh, you know, yeah. No. no. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, in with brooms, huh? That one I am. If Leslie Nielsen's in it. I'm watching. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's my guy yeah. right there. So it's basically here. According to I, I remember the movie. I couldn't remember the name, but I found it. So according to IMDb, it's that four men take time from their personal problems to reunite. As a curling team and compete in a bonds field that will restore their honor. Oh, wow. wow. It's uh, for 2002. You know, it comedy, I hope. It says comedy, drama, romance. So it's a shitty movie. <laughs> there it is. Oh, and there's a trailer from it. And we yeah, can- there's a video trailer. There's pictures of Leslie Nielsen standing on the ice, you know. Who did the soundtrack? Men Without Hats? I mean, what's, what's the name of this thing here? It's a soundtrack? Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I literally don't know any actors in this movie. I, well, it's, no, these are, I, you know what? This is literally one of those movies where outside of Leslie Nielsen, I know the faces of every actor and I would not know a single name of any of them. Yeah. It's one yeah. of the movies. It's like Leslie Nielsen and faceless, act, nameless actors, right? <laughs> it's just, but I, I will watch it. How yeah, well, not? Leslie is in there. That's right. I mean, this is you know, it's 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 probably a hard. I mean, I remember seeing the movie some time ago, and it's an absolute horrible movie that doesn't know what he wants to do with it. Uh, so, all right, I just thought of one that was good. Remember this movie, well, Kingpin? It was one of oh, the yeah. Zucker brothers thing. That, that yeah. was funny. Yeah. I love Kingpin. Ooh. What uh, Woody Woody Harrelson with right. like a missing. Hand or something? Uh, not Tom Hanks. What's his name? The other guy. Um, the guy from uh, Grand Grand Grand. Uh, uh, Bill Murray. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. He's awesome in Kingspin as they like uh, passed over old guy with the come over. That's right. <laughs> Wait a minute, Caddyshack. That is that. If that's considered a sports movie, kind of is a sports movie of all times. <laughs> That's Kinda that's up is. there, man. That I love that movie. I mean, and then to bring to bring my other favorite sport, which is darts, there's a movie called Dartsville that talks Dart- about the most sacred dart sports in the world. <laughs> oh my god. That's <laughs> starring Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> <laughs> and Woody Harrelson. That's right. That's right. According, according, according to according again, according to IMDB, Dartsville is about Deep within the bowels of America's heartland resides the most sacred darts tournament in all the land, the Dartsville County Darts Championship. A tournament so fierce that only those with hearts as cold as steel dare enter it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This has got to be a, a joke, right? Is that a documentary or something? Or? <laughs> please. It says please say yes. Uh, I think it's uh, set up as a comedy also. I don't know. We're getting <laughs> to the bottom of the barrel on this now, too. So that may yeah. start counting the spelling bee. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, even, doesn't even know who uh, doesn't even say who 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 is who is in it because like I don't think that anybody acted on this. Just <laughs> like, people of the street. That's right. There's no actors. Only yeah. dark. Only dark. I think I'd watch Rocky Five over that. So that, yeah. no, they don't go that way. No, no, no. Let's not go. Yeah. That way. So. <laughs> Very, very good movie, Creed. I already yeah. mentioned Creed. Yeah, yeah. Creed won it too. Creed won it both. Actually, Rocky, Rocky three was the best Rocky movie for my money. I'm, so I'm with Clubber Lang, I like one. I'm a I one like one and two. I am a one. Two. I like them. I all. like. I'm well, not four, but I like. The four was, no, the, the, four the, was the, Love I, Thunder. I didn't like, like the whole versus Russia thing on Rocky four three. Was the only the only reason four was any good is because it led to Creed. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> right. That's so there. There, it, it's good for the fact that it's the prequel to Creed. But right. but don't, but don't forget about Rocky Five with uh, what's it, Tommy Morrison. Remember that one? Oh God, he was in. That? He was yeah yeah. He Rocky was. Rocky was about eighty five, and he was fighting a twenty year old or something like that. Or? Tommy Morrison's brains are scram was scrambled. And you, you guys are forgetting the absolute best sports movie of all times, which was Dodgeball. <laughs> a true love story. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> a true love story. That's nice. <laughs> I uh, I wow, you know, it's what's so what's the best the best last 10 years 
Well, it's even less shorter. Let's, well, Creed that, for me. Creed is the last five years. It has to be. I, I'm trying to think of other ones beyond Creed in the last five years that are really any good. What did we name it was the last five? Most of what we were naming it long before that. Yeah. Well, yeah. William Bendix was way before. <laughs> <laughs> that was that does win the worst in history without any question. Right, I, 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 I'm going to have to do some more. Oh, oh, another great movie was uh, Eddie the Eagle. Eddie, I didn't. Even, Eddie the Eagle. Yeah, the guy I, from the I UK that. that was a uh, long, long, uh, long jump uh, skier. I yeah, see. I remember that. I didn't see it. I remember when it came out. It's actually a good that, movie. It just didn't. It didn't get my attention. That's, that's what lo long jump ski jumping doesn't get you. <laughs> I know that's going to be a big surprise to you as to what. <laughs> <laughs> what about the remember Invincible, the Vince Papali one where uh, Marky Mark played him? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's that well, was. There was also uh, the other one, you know, going more in the fringe of sports that you guys don't even care about. Invictus, the one about the South Africa. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Okay. that was good, actually. Yeah. That was very good. Yeah, that was a Clint Eastwood movie. Yeah, right? that was. A well, that ruined it for me now, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the the Cinderella Man? Remember? Uh, yeah. Uh, what's, what's the guy? The, the, the white guy. The, uh, the, the white guy. guy. The white guy. Yeah, yeah. Russell. The white guy. Yeah, yeah he is oh, that. Now yeah. we're down to four and a half. Oh, and there was also the uh, the one where uh, the guy from uh, Changing Colors played a boxing guy that was supposed to be the last the last hope or something like that. The the Great White Hope. Yeah, wasn't it the, the Great White Hope? There was yeah. a guy from okay. Living Color. I don't know the names, dude. I'm not good with names, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> the guy the, from Living Color. It was the huh? Great White Hope. Yeah, that oh, was man. about uh, the Jack Johnson James Jeffrey fight, if I remember. Yeah, but right, that movie. No, oh, it, you know what? James Earl Jones, remember he did that, that, right? That was a good movie. That was a great movie, actually. Big Wednesday, Big Wednesday. That's no, great. Amy Anderson. <laughs> no, Big Wednesday surfing. I know, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't call it surfing sports. I'm just trying to bring the French sports that you guys would never touch yeah, with the yeah. for boring. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Yeah, you are yeah. so far. <laughs> the, 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 if, you go to, if you go to Netflix, there's a there's a documentary about uh, Maradona, which you know yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that was actually pretty interesting. That's a documentary, yeah. though. And then there's also another one when he tried this. Uh, there's a series that he they filmed one season where he tried to be a coach. For the worst team in Mexican, the Mexican league, that he tried to bring him back up, and it became basically a gang war from him being there. Like you know what happens with Maradona, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw that actually. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I don't remember the name of it though. There was another one. I got to, now. I have to look it up because it was another oh one. another one that is actually fringes. Is uh, uh, it, this was a couple of years ago. It was it was in the movie theater. It was in the theaters. Uh, the guy who brings the Indian cricket players to be uh, softball baseball pitchers. Oh, right. <laughs> that was actually a pretty damn good movie. It was yeah. fun to watch. I, oh, God. What was the name of that? Yeah, that, was the name of that. Also, um, the movie with uh, Clint Eastwood where he plays a scout. Million Dollar oh, Baby? Uh, yeah, not, the not, not Million Dollar the Baby. Curveball. That was uh, sick. What was it? Uh, something About the Curve. Yeah, uh, something of a – yeah, that's right. What was yeah. it? Something yeah, like that. that was, that's what that's a really good movie. That's a re yeah, it is. That the Justin Timberlake of all people. Yeah, but huh. the name <laughs> of the movie, the Trouble with the Curve, the something Trouble, with yeah. The, yeah, Trouble. It's not Trouble. No, something like that though. Yeah, start, like, trouble with the curve. That's the name. Oh, you know, we, and we are forgetting two other major movies that I now have just been reminded of by looking it up. Jerry Maguire. Oh. Dude, that's, that's, that wasn't really about sports. That was more about him. Yeah, but it's still, uh, it's still guess the, it, it counts. He has one of the best it counts like draft day does. He has one of the best Hail Mary catches in the history of NFL. <laughs> and, uh, Rod Tid Rod Tidwell. <laughs> another exactly. one. Actually, another one we're not we not we forgot. Rudy. Oh yeah. Rudy. I didn't forget it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I did not. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not. Hey, Alan, Alan Berkson comes in with Birth of a Legend. I don't know what that is. Birth of a Legend. Alan, what you're gonna have to come on and explain this. Are you are, are you available? Alan, do you want to come on? Are you available? I thought that was the start of my life. 
Stay on this <laughs> one. We're just going to keep putting up people. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> hey, you know what? I just looked it up. It says the Esteban Kolsky story. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Can't believe yeah. it. it. Really does say that. How do you like that? <laughs> is that a Wikipedia entry or something? We got <laughs> Karate Kid as a sports movie. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Right. That was that was good. I mean, I was a kid, so I'm. Oh, here's a bad one. Here's a bad one. The, the brand That's very roughness. Brent's frozen again, but this time he's smiling at least. That's right. But it's all right. We'll keep talking until he unfreezes. That's okay. That's a Terry Ruffman. Wow, Stop. look at that. I, it's You're kind of funny seeing myself frozen. Yeah. Oh, you know, you know. This is like heaven can wait. It's like heaven can wait, right? So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then there's also the... Uh, out the of one body. With, uh, I'm seeing my the, body. The one with uh, Rick Moranis and uh, the guy from Married with Children where they play... Football with the little kids. Oh, yeah. Uh, the little oh. genius or something like that. Huh. The I guy from Married with Children, uh, Al Bundy. Yeah, but that's the stage name, dude. Yeah, Ed. Ed. Something. Oh, Ed. Yeah, he's I know. Dad, he's, he's, the, he's the. Yeah. The Little Giants. Yeah. The reason I remember that one is because John. Oh, Adam, that. Uh, Madden, the the, co the football coach makes a cameo in that movie. Uh, okay, James Kelly, we already said Bull Durham. Sorry, you missed that. That's a good movie, though. We, no, we both, that's we're all. <laughs> 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 starring Rob Schneider and Scott Bakula. That's pretty right. horrible. Uh, <sighs> only thing worse than that is Scott Bayo. But... No, no, that is way worse than that. <laughs> Scott Bakula at least has kind of resurrected his career on NCIS New Orleans, right? But uh, you but, guys said something so bad, you just I just froze completely up, man. What's up with that? I don't know. I'm so, going to drop out and see if I can come back in. Uh, Let's yeah, see what happens. Yeah, I can. We're, we're still working. I don't know. I'm in, I'm in with Jerry Maguire being a really good movie. I, I think it's a good movie. I like Jerry Maguire. Yeah, me too. I, I, I and that, that was the only good movie for Cuba Gooding Jr. You're still frozen. Yeah. No, he also did the one about uh, talking about sports. The I did I I did a race in uh, Alaska. Oh right, you did, I wasn't it called. Well, he heard the dog pugs. Yeah. What was it called? Was it called the Diderot? Where are you, Esteban? You gone? No. Brent, did we lose Esteban now? Sorry, I, I, I pressed the wrong key. Okay. But I. Yeah. Down, Brent. Don't hear you. So I'm. I mean, the thing is, it it's astounding when you look. Toe dogs. That's the one. That's it. That was actually, that was actually not terrible. No. no, no, no. Well, I mean, there's a class of movies that we're talking about that are either horrible or not bad, but you watch them all the way through once. I, I I I have never in my entire life not finished a movie that I started, no matter how horrible it was. Really, God, I only one time, only one time I was I was made to leave a theater with five minutes left. I was watching the movie with uh, Warren Beatty, where he's a politician. It was a Bullworth or something like that. Yeah, uh, right, yeah. Bullworth. That yeah, and it took me ten years to find the movie and watch the ending that needed the last five minutes. It was pretty terrible. It, you know, it's funny at the time. It got great reviews. I watched it. I yeah. like you. I watched it. I watched it through, but I didn't. Well, so, same as like any given Sunday with Cameron Diaz. Hell, yeah. Barry was in that movie. That's why I watched that one. Right. Well, that's why you watch James Bond movies at that point. Yeah. Uh, she. Uh, so I. So I. So basically, though, what we've established is probably fifteen really good sports movies. Yeah. A lot of not bad to watch movies and a boatload of. These are so bad, it's like train wreck watching. But you had to watch them again. Right. Well, you do. You do. You yeah. Do. I mean, I'm, I'm actually going to watch the movie Brent um, mentioned first, which is Heaven Can Wait. I mean, that movie, Warren Beatty. In yeah, yeah. 70, I'm going to watch it next we, this weekend, without a doubt. You're back, Brent. At least in picture. No, no sound. We cannot hear you. No. Uh, your picture is here. We're handling a show in the meantime. You're looking good on Frozen. <laughs> so this is Frozen too. 
Uh, another good movie. No, oh, no. I, I didn't see the second one. I, I watched it. It's okay. <laughs> Not that great. Yeah. It cannot be as good as it is. Pretty much Let It Go is all there is to Frozen, right? You watch that song and you've pretty much seen all of Frozen <laughs> one and two. Because they don't even sing it in two, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, there you there go. There you go. Yeah, let's yeah. see. We were already we were already down to the dregs, man. We were talking about Let It Go and Frozen One and Two. Oh, I thought you said Alan. That meant Alan was coming on. <laughs> Where is he? Uh, let me see if. Oh, he, uh, Space Jam. Did we did Space Jam? Jam? How was that? Space yeah, we did Space Jam. Jam. We did Space oh, yeah. Jam. Uh, the Legend of Bagger Bands. With the oh Bands. no, that was bad though. Yeah, that was good. What are you talking about? It, again, this is one of those movies you just watched all the way through. You don't know what the hell you just saw, and then you don't watch it. Again. Matt Damon and Will Smith were made for to, to act together. Oh my God! Am I hearing this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! The Will the Will Biden guys are of their day. Oh. Of, a, of an acting performance as Ebony and Ivory was for Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Wow, I'm speechless. <laughs> I think well, I I don't know. I think we've covered so so. Damn Yankees was a musical. Were there yeah. any, I can't it's movie too. But are there any other sports musicals that were moved that were made into movies? I don't know if there's any sports musicals in the world. No, that was the one. That was a sports. I, I hope there wasn't any. No, that actually. was a good musical. So I mean, it was a huge hit. Wait a minute. What's in your? What did your cousin do? What it wasn't he, a musical? It was a play, and it was never a movie. Uh, you know, it was called Take Me Out. And it was so for those of you who don't know, my cousin Richard is a Tony Award winning playwright who won four best play in 2003 for a play called Take Me Out, which was a weird story with that. And this is actually kind of a weird story. He grew up and his brother grew up two houses from us our whole lives. And me, my brother, and his brother. We're huge Yankees fans when we were growing up. He, uh oh, I got to stop you just for a second because Alan's on. Oh no! Look who it is. We thought you were afraid. Mr. <laughs> you were afraid to come on. Well, you got a formidable trio here. <laughs> yeah, formidable trio. Yeah, you're part of the trio. Uh, that, sounds, that sounds like a like a TGI Friday's uh, menu entry. Formidable trio. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Somehow it involves nacho, a lot of really bad queso cheese. Now you know I'm not good with that. And so. Onion ring. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take That's the onion ring. Of meats. Onion rings, queso cheese, and nachos. Uh, and the spicy jalapeno. Uh, right, we we got to get your it? movie. What was your absolute favorite sports movie of all time? Number one absolute favorite. Wow. Um. There's so I, I keep going with all the Kevin Costner movies, but uh, that's fair. I, I, I'm going to go with Remember the Titans. Really, so, that was a good one. I, no, it was a great one. Yeah. Kevin it, Costner. It, it, it's got it's got everything, and it's got uh, um, I don't know. It's I, every time that's on, I watch a little bit of it. Yeah, well, it's, it's got all the drama of you know her, and heroics. Yeah. Oh, you know which one? Speaking of which, we completely forgot. Who's your? Hoosiers. Hoosiers, yeah. Oh, Hoosiers. That was really good. Yeah, which is Remember the Titans for Basketball. Yeah, that so was you, really you good. That, but here's the thing. I, I, I'm not a big Kevin Costner fan, yet every sports movie I think of that I like had Kevin Costner. You know, How is that possible? You know, <laughs> no, you know why? There is a reason. Actually, same thing. I, most of his other movies, were, Bodyguard, he was actually pretty good in. But most of the other movies, he was terrible. But in the sports movies... Because he loves baseball, it's his deep right. passion. Yeah, but did you see? I, no, did you see Draft Day? Yeah, we liked him yeah. too. I liked him in the Big Chill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's the that's the trivia question. That's his yeah. best role. He did, uh, he did the one uh, for the game. Remember that one? Yeah, we were talking. Yeah. We were talking about that perfect game against the Yankees. Yeah, and then uh, the NFL Draft one. They had draft day, and he did okay. Field of Dreams, and he did Bull Durham. Yeah, and Field of Dreams is my number one still. Really, I still watch the. Uh, the I draft got the natural. Day. The, the yeah. only the only Kevin Costner non sports movie to watch is Silverado. That was. Good. Have you ever seen oh, Silverado? 
I, I, was he, Uncle he wasn't Jake the big fell star off his horse. Movie. Uncle Uncle Jake's dead. He fell off his horse. Oh, he fell off his horse. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great acting. That's yeah, cool. it was awesome. <laughs> that's that's he, not he my, that's not. That was Oscar. Award. He wasn't the big star in that, was he? There were some. There were other guys. No, it was uh, uh, Kevin Klein. That's it. Yeah, Kevin. Oh, Kevin, Kevin Klein plays his brother. Kevin, he was Kevin he Klein. was the big star. Kevin yeah. Klein did some good movies, but not for sports. He did uh, Dave, where he played the uh, president. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was, did, uh, was a good one. He did uh, In and Out. That was awesome. Yeah. What was the yeah. movie? Was he, he did a, was he was in a fish called Wanda too? Right? Yeah. yeah, he was. Yeah, he was really good in that. He was yeah. the. He was the hit man. <laughs> yeah, he, he was, uh, yeah. I, I love, I love World yeah. World. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Bob Fagel. So you, you take this for what it, it's worth. You know, it's Bob. Um, he says a sports musical, the first. That's the name of it. Oh. And it was about Jackie Robinson. Really? There's never, also. There's also a, it was also a Broadway musical that played for two years uh, for, about Rocky, the movie. Yeah, no, I'm looking at sports musicals that yeah. in movies. Like Damn Yankees was the biggest. Damn movie. Yankees, yeah. That that's... was the big one. And was... Oh, wow. I forgot about Cool Runnings with that Jamaica. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? That was actually a really good movie. That was actually, surprisingly, that came from James Kelly, yeah. who's probably still in that nice reclining uh, chair from <laughs> Happy Hour. Hasn't moved for six weeks. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it was, uh, I mean, well, John Candy was in that one, John Candy, and he uh, was their manager, yeah, yeah. That was, that was uh, finally a movie, a movie made about a real sport. <laughs> 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 that was still, it was a fun story, though. I mean, it's a real, it was, it was a real, uh, the, the real story was really well, dramatic. What, yeah, what, was, uh, what should they have made a movie out of that they didn't like? Why wasn't there a movie on? You know Tanya Harding, uh, yeah. loving what Nancy Kerrigan. There need. was. That's not yeah. a sport. That's not a sport, Brent. <laughs> but there was a movie on it. it, it if if it's judged, it's a, it's <laughs> an art, it's not a sport. Oh, that's it. it, was, it Her was, knee was still broken, wasn't it? I, it was, I know, but that's not a sport. That, that movie was out last year. It was called Tanya. It was a real mo movie. Yeah, I remember they Tanya did a thirty for thirty document no, no, documentary. No, no. It was a movie, and Tanya Harding had this brief revival as a result of it. Uh, and she was, for some reason, which I, I can't fathom, she was sympathetic to people. I, I don't get that one. <laughs> I, I, she was a complete train wreck. She was horrible. I All mean, right. I'm going to switch it up. So uh, best, okay. best sports person who turned in to be an actor. No, well, that's easy. I've, I've got know. one. I've got the one. The Rock is a good one. I'm going, yeah, I'm yeah, going Brad. off the war. OJ in in the he was great. Uh, you see, and I just watched the Dirty Dozen the other day, so that's oh, my, Jim that's Brown. my choice. Jim Brown, yeah. Brown. Oh, God, a hundred rifles. That, that wasn't really great acting. It was just like, like running and dropping grenades. No, I like I like them better in a hundred rifles with yeah. Raquel Welch. So. Yeah, the, so oh, the best. I know the 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 really the Rock. I mean, my God. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's, two years ago, he was literally the highest paid actor in Hollywood, right? So he made like $120 million. Yeah. Right. But no, yeah, um, no, he's got it. No, he's, no. He's got it. He does. Bob Euchre in Major League. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a bit outside. I know. Bob Euchre in anything. Bob Euchre has uh, my, my favorite. Uh, well, I would, I would live when I got a chance to listen to Bob Euchre broadcast Brewers games. He's wow. I mean, who was the, uh, wow. the basketball guy who did uh, blue chips with Nick Nolte? The Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah, Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. He's not a great actor. He did, no. no, he did Shazam. That was one of the oh, one wow. of the movies of all times. Yeah. <laughs> there was there was a there Awful. was a baseball player who did like an eighties, like uh, he was like a Keith Hernandez. A, no, no, was no. it like a detective or something? Yeah, Fred, Fred, uh, Fred, uh, Fred Dreyer. Fred Dryer. Oh, oh, Hunter. That was my Hunter. boy yeah. from the Rams, yeah. number 89. Hunter, yes. yeah. That's he right. He's good. Yeah. He's a good player, too. Yeah, but I, I mean, I haven't seen Fred like since that ended in somewhere in the 80s, though. Yeah. Hunter yeah. Was, yeah. Shaquille it, since ran, it ran, what, four or five years? Oh, Merlin Olsen? Yeah. He Merlin, did some yeah. acting. That's right. 
Rosie Brown and Ro Rosie Greer would act. My, yeah, Rosie. Greer. Remember the 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 two headed man movie he did with uh, Ray Milland? Yeah, that's right. Holy God! <laughs> you, you I, have, I know my Rams trivia. I don't care what. Hey, come what on, uh, Michael. Did Michael Jordan did that dis that Disney thing. Okay. Yeah, it's Space Jam. <laughs> Space we already Jam. talked about that. That was good though. <laughs> it was. It was pretty good. Michael. Michael Jordan is not. He wasn't a baseball player and wasn't an actor. He wasn't even acting in it. No. <laughs> he, was just, he, he was just the uh, character. So yeah, you great. guys, you guys have seen Blazing Saddles, right? Of course. Oh, who had? Oh, yeah. oh, Alex Karras. Oh, Alex Mongo. Karras. Actually, he was in a lot of movies, and he was. Well, he movie. had his own show. Remember yeah. Webster? That's Webster, right. right, right. That's right. What? what but the, I just. But, but, but he was Mongo. Kid, no, uh, right? In Webster, he was it was about. Yeah, it was about the kid. Yeah. Yeah. That's Alex right. Karras. Alex Karras, he was good though. I don't know about you, by the way. I'm getting a lot of uh, flashing from my end on the, like a lot of. That's on your end because I'm not yeah. seeing any flashing. I'm seeing a whole bunch. Stay away from the light. Strobing, man. That's <laughs> why. That's why we're naming all these crazy things. We're all. I'm high on strobe light, right? So uh, <laughs> I like that. So and then, of course, there was the star of Airplane. Oh, Kareem Abdul -Jabbar. Yeah, you're right. He was actually pretty funny, though. He was funny. <laughs> he was great in that one. He was that little kid. My dad, you, 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 you try, you try to, uh, you try to chase. Uh, who was? Who did he say? Up and down the the. Uh, it was the, uh, some big guy. No, but because like, he, he the kid was complaining, and it's like, oh yeah, well you try and chase somebody up and down the court for for, for thirty minutes and see how well you do or whatever. At and first, he was trying to. Oh, sorry, that's just that's not me. Right. My <laughs> dad says you don't try at all on defense. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Great. You try to chase Lanier or something. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's go back. To, uh, do we record that one? That would be a nice. Bring on. Wait, that's it. Let's go on. <laughs> <laughs> I should have froze up on that one. He was in. A, he was in another movie though. Shabar, do you, you know what other uh, what other famous movie he was? Oh in? yes, I do. What is? Yes, it? I do. I'm gonna let them, you know, take you a guess, but I know out. exactly what it is. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I know it was. I watched it. I don't know if I watched it. He though. he he was only in it for a little while, and he was at the top of the house. I'll put it that way. I know. Or the building was it a building? Was it a house? Did he get killed? He was, the, he was the last level. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I'll, 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 I'll give you a hint. He came after Chuck Norris came. And I don't did, I tried this. Yeah. It's escaping me. Bruce Lee. He fought Bruce yeah, Lee. Tell me. Just, uh, you can just tell me. What was um, the name of that movie? Um, yeah, the I last. Need, I need to go take a call. It, but I it wasn't you, Enter yeah. the Dragon. It all was, right. Uh, all right, right man. The best movie of all times. The best sports movie of all times. Yeah. Yeah, by far, it's a trilogy, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we'll let See you, you know. later. <laughs> we'll let you go. All right, man. What All was right, the name of it? It wasn't called. It wasn't called Enter the Drag. It was like uh, Game of Death. Game, Game of, of Death. Death. That's it. Yeah. And he fought Chuck. I mean, Chuck. That fight with him and Chuck Norris was great. Oh, and my brother must be watching. He sent what? me a note. Chuck Connors. The Chuck rifleman, Connors, the rifleman, yeah. Well, I, you know what, I will say this, man. I, I, I grew up hating Chuck Connors because if you recall, Chuck was in Roots, and he was one of those bad dudes in Roots. That's right. He was a I, that's right. He was a slave owner who was cruel. He was the cruelest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember now. But I, I watched the uh, the old um the rifle episodes man. of the rifleman. And he yeah. was a good guy in that. That was a great that I that series was one of my childhood. Favorites. I used to watch it all the time. I could probably, I won't, but I could sing you the song. I forgot about Chuck. Yeah, he. Yeah, no, my brother cool. just popped me a note. Did we say Ed Marinaro? No, no, we didn't. Well, no. we leave that to you for for obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> what was that show he was on? That the uh, what's it? Uh, Hill Street Blues. Hill Street Blues. That he was really good on that too. Hill Street Blues. Hey yeah. and hey, be careful out there. <laughs> <laughs> Not his line, but that was the show. It was a great line. I that I used to like that show too. It's funny, actually. We've just named it like what two, three dozen, probably two dozen actors who are were in sports. Who was, was so the earliest one we named was probably Chuck Connors, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Probably, I'm I'm saying he was the actual earliest. There was, I'm sure. Oh my goodness, do we count this guy? Who was he? 
he played college sports. Yeah, he counts. All right, so he played college sports, then went into acting, then went into politics, then went and became a president. You mean Reagan? Mm-hmm. No, no, we counted it. We already said him. Remember, we're talking about I- him. Well, we talked about the movies, but yeah, we didn't right. talk about him as an I, I, actual. Yeah, no, it counts. It, it counts. And he was a coach of Notre Dame. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was just the Gip. That's who right. played. That's I don't. Right. I don't remember who played Newt Rockney. Wait a minute. It was one of those big old bulbous nose actors. It was uh, William Bendix. No, <laughs> no. But it was like it was a guy who, he, who, oh Christ, white hair. Oh God, I'm. Gonna, you know what? So I've got to look this up. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is a urgent. My brother, uh, yeah. Uh, this, this is uh, our lives depend on this here. So. That's right. <laughs> Not. I, I would say The Rock. He's been the most successful. I would say by a long shot. He's also really, really good. At oh, and Bob. Bob chimed in. Chuck Connors played for the Celtics. I knew he played some I, kind of. Yeah. Sport. No. In nineteen forty nine and fifty one and fifty two, he's like he played baseball and basketball he was one wow. of two he was a two-way athlete too oh i got one this uh alan you're a knicks fan right i am uh, I so am. they tell me <laughs> I am. all right there was a movie i think this is in the late 70s oh you know who it was i was totally wrong about who i was remembering but you know who it was pat o'brien it was newt rockney that makes sense yeah now, but uh, there was a movie, I think it was called Fast Forward. Yeah. And, and in the movie, there was a guy who was the star basketball player. And his name was Bernard King. He, Bernard King. Really? Bernard King doesn't count as a Nick. <laughs> <I'm not>. Wow. <laughs> What he's just more of a net at this point. I mean, I don't yeah, he. I mean, he was hurt for most of the time he was on the Knicks anyway. Yeah. Wow. It's too bad. Since we oh, were- it's called Fast Break. Nineteen seventy-nine. We were count. It's too bad he was hurt most of the time. We were, no, but we used to call it the Bernard King Show because yeah. that was the only thing you went to watch. Yeah. Exactly. We were counting on the guy, like pretty much to be the Knicks, right? I mean, I look honestly, I my mind blanks on the Knicks after. I'd say 94. I said, oh. oh, my God. We totally missed out on, on a, a really major one. Okay. This guy played quarterback for UCLA in the 70s, and he's been on TV, like, ever since, including the longest, the, probably the second longest running show on TV right now. Think about it. Uh, Think about Simpsons? four initials. Think about four initials. A show right. with four initials. No, for initials, uh, NCIS, Mark Harmon. There it is. Yeah, of course. Mark Harmon. I totally yeah. forgot about that. How could we forget that one? His dad was a, also Tommy, right? Was another pro. I mean, great one. I think he's in a college hall of fame of some kind. Mark, right. I, I think he was a pretty good quarterback from what I understand too, right? I think he started. Yeah. yeah. No, he was a starting quarterback. I mean, he was actually like good, not just to start yeah. back in college. See, they were over, over, uh, Looked because well, UCLA in the seventies. There's only one thing that people worried about, were thinking about then basketball. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'll tell yeah. you, what, this was well, we finally got you on, Alan. Took us. Thank you. Back. We literally had to manufacture something just to get. <laughs> right, I can't believe it. Took, it was that hard. But we <laughs> achieved our goal. Well, thank you for having me. Are you kidding? I you am made honored. it happen. This is something that we want to happen. We want to look. Whenever you're going to teach there. me the secret handshake now, and uh, <laughs> so we, we got to make it up first, right? <laughs> yeah. we have to make it up, but you got a ways to go before you get that close to us. Sorry, <laughs> this is twelve years in the making here. Okay. Oh, I should say Bob did guess NCIS, but well after we talked about it. So, well, and he he was just <laughs> all he was doing he's memorializing our, our <laughs> he was memorializing our discussion. <laughs> All right, hey, this is this is fun. Uh, unfortunately, know. we couldn't have Scott McIntosh on with us, but there's so much to talk about with sports, even when there's no sports being played. You know, it's not a bad one. Alan, be prepared for future episodes. That's all I can tell you. 
Uh, I, I'm happy to join. I could talk oh. about uh, Chico Rush buying me a beer and stealing a uh, a uh, a big jug of, of the big jug of mustard on opening day. Oh my god! Ooh, that's a good story for the next time. I listen. <laughs> okay, maybe what we do, we talk telling stories about and we. Oh, that would be a great episode. You know what? So maybe we do an episode where we bring people on to talk about just stories of them. Actually, the the stories they remember about themselves. At, at sport events, sport events yeah. of some kind. Yeah. That'll be good. That would be a blast. We already got Alan, man. I want to hear about that one. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. in the meantime, I'm Brent Leary. I'm Paul Greenberg. Do it, and I'm Alan Bergson. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. Right. And, and we are it's the CRM you know. players. Uh, at least one of us is for a day. We'll see you later. Thanks, guys. <laughs>